you've been homeschooling for any amount of time, you know that sometimes the best way to homeschool is to just jump in and do it. But it can also be helpful to seek the advice of other homeschoolers and learn from their trials and error. Today, we want to talk about seven things that we wish we knew before homeschooling. Welcome to Kids Learning for Life. That's Jenny. That's Stacy. And, and we're, we're two homeschooling, homeschooling moms. moms. We're here to help families teach kids the joy of learning. Because learning doesn't happen just during school, it happens throughout life. The first thing that we wish we knew before homeschooling is that the house will easily become a mess. And that's okay. We know that even without homeschooling, messes can really pile up quickly. But when you throw in schoolwork, textbooks, craft supplies, and whatever else you use in your curriculum, things can multiply. Plus, your kids are home all day instead of in a classroom where someone else can clean up the glue on the table or the marker stains on the ground. Just let it go. Let it go! It's something that all homeschool families have to deal with and it's completely unavoidable and understandable. You don't need a Pinterest-ready homeschool setup to be successful. Another thing that's important to remember is that every child has different needs. Now, this might seem like a no-brainer, but this becomes amplified when you bring lots of different learning styles into the mix. One of your children may be motivated and efficient in their schoolwork, while another may be less interested and less focused. And these personalities could change from child to child every single day. Neither child's attitude is right or wrong, it just requires different tactics from the parent to help keep your child interested in learning. Making daily to-do lists can be a great way to keep you on track in the beginning of the day, but you have to keep an open mind. You won't be able to check every item off your list every day, but as long as your children are progressing as they should, this isn't a problem. Homeschool is flexible, so you can always make up for lost time on another day. I find that having a plan for the day the night before helps me start off on the right foot in the morning. If I know the lessons I will be teaching, I can mentally prepare and be in a better mood to start teaching. If you have a let's hurry up and get this over with attitude, then your children will emulate that and I don't think that's how you want them to view their education. Keep in mind that young kids like to take part in homeschooling too. Education doesn't have to start at age 5 or 6 like it does in traditional school. Young kids love to imitate what they see, so feel free to let them participate in any way they can. They can scribble on a little piece of paper while their older siblings practice their handwriting, or they can even play with little math manipulatives while their older children do a math lesson. Younger siblings will often pick up on so much information without you even having to teach them. They will often surprise you. If you want some inspiration for activities for preschool or toddler age children, check out our free weekly themed curriculum on our website or linked below. We wish we knew exactly how much homeschooling could cost because this can become an important factor in your homeschool. Yes, some curriculum can be pretty pricey, but you really can homeschool on any budget if you know where to look. Sometimes a curriculum may be more expensive, but it comes with everything you need to get started. And you will spend a lot less time prepping and planning because all of that's been done for you in the curriculum. Other curriculum can be more cost effective, but they may require you to do more of the planning on a day-to-day -day basis. You just need to look at your own homeschool and figure out which curriculum setup would work best for your family. The good news is there's lots of different ways to find homeschool curriculum, and you can check out our How to Find Curriculum video for more examples. Homeschooling can be challenging, and some days will just be harder than others. Don't be afraid to throw in the towel and to start again tomorrow. Maybe your child is extra tired or cranky, or maybe you are. Yes, this happens to the best of us. We've all had those tough days, and it's not always beneficial to power through them just for the sake of homeschool. Also, keep in mind it's okay to change your curriculum, routine, and homeschool method to fit what works for you. If you're noticing that tough days are becoming a pattern for you, shake things up and see if that makes a positive difference. The seventh thing we wish we knew before we started homeschooling was really figuring out our why. There are going to be times where you think to yourself, why don't I just send my kids to school and then they won't be here and I will be able to have quiet time all to myself. We're getting real here! These times is when it becomes crucial that you remember why you're choosing to homeschool your child. There are lots of different reasons why parents choose to homeschool their children. And if you need a little more help figuring out your why, you can check out our Find Your Why video to help you narrow down your why and have a clear vision for your homeschool. Once you remember your why, you'll have more clarity and motivation as to why you started to homeschool in the first place. Do you have anything that you wish you knew before homeschooling? Or are you a new homeschooler and have questions? Let us know in the comments below. 
And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to get more homeschooling videos just like this. And if you're a new homeschooler, consider starting with our How to Start Homeschooling series to help you get started on the right foot. See you next time! <laughs>